Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Drobo 5D Direct Attached Storage Device. It's both Windows and Mac compatible and you'll need Windows 7 and up and Mac OS X 10.9 or higher. Here's what comes in the box. First up is a quick guide on how to install the Drobo dashboard and connect the Drobo 5D to your PC. You get a safety and warranty guide along with a Drobo sticker. Provided is a 1.8 meter USB 3.0 cable. Also included are the power brick and cord. This device comes with a carry bag, which is nice because the DAS is quite heavy. Drobo sent me two Seagate 1TB 3.5 inch hard drives for the purpose of testing this NAS out. You can choose to purchase the Drobo 5D as a base unit or with included drives. The Drobo 5D measures 150.3 millimeters wide by 185.4 millimeters tall by 262.3 millimeters deep and it weighs 3.9 kilograms without any hard drives installed. This DAS has a steel housing with glossy front panel and Drobo logo near the top. Below the gloss panel is some ventilation, and these are the LED power, drive capacity, and activity indicators. Lift away the magnetic front panel like this. There's vent holes all around this cover to air out the drives. The activity indicator map is on the other side of this cover. A green light means the drive is in good condition, and a blinking red light means drive death. You can install up to five SATA 2 or SATA 3 hard drives or SSDs. Mix and match drives by any manufacturer, capacity, speed, and cache. The max system capacity is 64 terabytes. These are the individual status indicators for the drives. Let's insert the hard drives into the Drobo. Push down on the gray tab so the drive can easily slide into the bay. You'll hear a click once the drives are in place. Now let's move to the rear of the Drobo. You get plenty of ventilation holes and a fixed 120 millimeter variable speed fan for intelligent cooling. Here's a Kensington lock slot, and below that are two Thunderbolt ports. Multiple Thunderbolt ports allow you to connect up to six Thunderbolt devices, achieving bi-directional 10 gigabit per second speeds. All devices in the daisy chain can produce max throughput. The Time Machine Backup feature on the Drobo 5D allows you to set the size of the storage volume for the Time Machine backups through the Drobo dashboard. Normally, Apple sets the storage space for Time Machine at twice the size of the Mac hard drive that's to be protected. Coming back to the rear ports, you get a USB 3.0 port that offers 5 gigabit per second transfer speeds. And next to that is the factory reset button as well as the power port. The last item back here is the power button. Here's the most welcome feature, the built-in battery inside this DAS. In case you experience a power outage, the battery will stay alive long enough for the file transfers to complete. Finally, on the bottom are four rubber feet. You can remove them by their screws. And this is the Drobo Accelerator Bay for hot data caching. Push on this tab to remove the cover. Here's an mSATA SSD port for those who prefer that performance boost. Be sure to shut down the Drobo before adding or removing an mSATA SSD. Time to get the Drobo 5D set up. First, go to the Drobo 5D webpage, then click on Drobo Dashboard 2.8.1 for Windows or Mac install. If you already have the Drobo Dashboard downloaded and it's not up to date, you will be prompted to update to the newest version upon loading the software. There's a registration step as well if you haven't already done so. Connect the Drobo to your PC. I'll be using the USB 3.0 cable for Windows setup. Next thing to do is to attach the power adapter to the storage device, and then power on the unit. Here's a look at the Drobo dashboard. I'm currently on the home screen, and the Drobo 5D looks healthy. If you have more than one Drobo, you can sort them by health, name, and product. Click in this area to switch from icons view to list view. Drobo discovery will allow you to enable auto discovery for the DAS or search via IP. Click on the Drobo image on the home screen so you can check on its status. If your drives have not already been formatted by this Drobo, then you will be asked to do so. After the initial format, it'll be safe to remove and reinsert the drive. I'm happy that the drives are both in good health, and you can see the firmware version here as well. Click on this drag down menu to see the drive information and performance. You can also click on each drive to see the drive information. Here's a look at capacity. The Drobo automatically switches between RAID levels as drives are added or removed, so you always stay protected without having to manually set the RAID. With Smart Volumes technology, thinly provisioned volumes automatically utilize capacity as needed from a common pool of storage. Under Usage, you'll see how the space is allocated. Half is used for protection and the other half for data. Overhead reduces with more drives, with five drives being the most efficient configuration at 20%. In Volumes, you can see the volume name, file system, data usage, and max capacity. Click here to rename volume. You can pick a different drive letter and name it whatever you want. Click OK once you're finished and the changes will be effective. There's even an option to enable backup volume. Tools will allow you to turn blink lights on, which is a useful feature if you have a number of Drobos and you wish to physically find that particular device. It's hard to miss these flashing lights. You can also rename the Drobo in this section, format and shut down the device. Here's the Drobo reset option, and you can check for updates in this area or conduct a manual update. 
Drobo settings is where you can enable disk drive spin down for power savings and dual disk redundancy for more data protection. Of course, you'll need more than two disks in order to utilize the dual disk redundancy feature. And here is the dim lights intensity bar. It's great that the LEDs can be powered down. Click to one for the dimmest setting. This is what it looks like, very faint. Here's what level five brightness looks like. And let's bring it back to max luminosity. Onto dashboard preferences. You can automatically check for updates, toggle on screen and email alerts, and more. Finally is help and support. This is where you can register your Drobos, view the user guide, and even run a diagnostic for a specific Drobo. Also, DroboCare provides around the clock tech support. That wraps it up for this look at the Drobo 5D Direct Attached Storage Device. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. If you wish to know what to purchase, be sure to check the link in the description below this video. Also, be sure to follow me on my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle, JTL Cuteness Overload, and JTL Love Life and Advice. I guess it's bye for now and see you later.